Hey guys, it's Loza. Welcome back to another Dark Magician video. Today we're going to be talking about Red Eyes Fusion versus Secrets of Dark Magic. Which one is better? Now, my hypothesis is I will prefer to see ref in my hand than Secrets. I know a lot of people prefer Secrets, so let's just go over that real quick. We'll add Tomias into the mix too, but let's just go over our ref versus Secrets for now. So, with a single card in hand, just being ref, I'm quite comfortable because why? Well, ref is going to one put Dark Magician in the grave, which we know as a Dark Magician player, it's very good too. It's going to give us Dragoon. No card in hand to discard, but we've got Dragoon at least. Let's look at the exact same number of cards in hand with just secrets. We can't activate. We, we can set it. So from here, we're going to shuffle the deck. I'm going to find a copy of Ref and put it at the top. Test hand settings. We're now going to have two cards in hand. Let's see. Ref and Rod. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to use the Ref over the Rod. I think anyone who goes for Rod normal is insane in this scenario. Uh, and then from here, we're going to summon Dragoon. And then we've got a discard, which is Rod, which actually can recur itself if we have Eternal Soul here. So if we had uh, a way to Eternal Soul, great. This Rod can keep coming back. Now, some people are going to probably argue, oh, Lords of these are one card hands, two card hands. They don't mean anything. They do. You can open Ref with four hand traps. Ref with four floodgates. You could open this hand here. Ref Rod, and the rest of your hand is like bricks. All right, let's shuffle again. And then we're going to grab Secrets, put it on top. Test hand, two cards. Insight and Secrets. I wonder which card I'm going to go for. It's obviously going to be the Insight package, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that ironic that we've put Secrets in our hand and we're still just going to go down the ref train? It's only that we were lucky enough to have Insight as the other card that we're able to go down the ref train. So Secrets is just going to sit in the hand and be a discard. How good is that? Good job, Secrets. You're doing your job. All right, let's shuffle again. We're going to put Ref on top, and we are going to go to three cards now. All right, this looks pretty good. So we've got Insight to actually play before the Ref to try to bait a response. If the opponent doesn't respond, cool. We've now got two Ref. Now, don't forget, next turn we'll be able to search the third one with Media Dragon, so that's cool too. Even if you get Ashed here, you're being chilling. Now, this is one of the cases where you wish Ref would send the materials for cost. Obviously, it will not. But because we've got that Salvation, we're actually able to set Eternal Soul as well. Which means we can search a uh, thousand knives if you want to play that trash. <laughs> dark magic attack or summon a dark magician. Meaning we're able to like trigger rod. We don't have rod. But we're, we've got a discard for Dragoon. That's nice. And we've got eternal soul. Summon a DM for card advantage. That's cool. Overall not bad. Let's shuffle up again. Let's find secrets. This is always the fun part. Where's secrets at? You guys will find it before me. Great. Test hand. Alright. Wow. This does nothing. This, this really is making uh, the argument for Ref a lot better, in my opinion. We're going to... <sighs> like, you probably grab the circle and hope it hits a Dark Magician. Soul Servant's probably safer. We'll probably risk it for the Biscuit for the sake of the video. I'd normally go Soul Servant and set it. But uh, let, we need to hit, like, a DM here, so let's try and do that. Okay, we did get the Soul Servant, though. That's nice. This is already better than I thought it would go. But, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to link into that Artemis. We don't have a way to draw off the Soul Servant, so we're going to have to set it here. I've also set the Skill Drain right here. And from here on the opponent's turn, we've only got one thing to do. And that's at some point, whenever, uh, flip the Soul Servant. I mean, we flip the Skill Drain too, but Soul Servant's a little more generic, so I'll just go with that. Uh, flipping the Soul Servant, which is going to... Look, it wants us to stack secrets on top. How how stupid is that? So we're going to put Magician Souls on top, which means we can trigger Rod, which gets rid of Artemis and grabs herself back that Rod. Hopefully the Skill Drain is enough to lock our opponent out of playing in this instance, because, god damn, um, we're going to have to draw that Magician Souls. We can pop off from here... And that's why Rod Artemis is pretty good. It can help you pop off later if you draw enough floodgates to stall your opponent. But you can see how much uh, worse that was without the good old good old ref. But anyway, let's go to four cards now. Test hand, four cards. Let's shuffle. Let's grab a ref. There's already one at the top, but we grabbed a ref, put it at the top. Well, I think you know what to do with this hand by now, right? So let's go and leave. And let's try it again with secrets. Secrets. Um, we're going to Magician Souls. Send and summon DM. We can secrets now, yes, but not yet. Not yet. Give it a bit. Give it a bit. 
Um, we're probably going to go for Soul Servant. I think is the play. No, we're not going to act. Oh, we can activate secrets now, can't we? It's probably secrets moment. Yeah, we can ritual summon too, which is interesting. People always bring that up. They're like, man, secrets can ritual summon. It's like, who cares? We're still losing cards in the hand. Like, yeah, losing a chaos comes back to your hand afterwards. If, if everything goes right and it doesn't get popped or something. It's always better to go for Eternal Soul instead of um, Circle. Obviously, you want both, but and Circle can get you both, but that's the risk you take, right? Um, because we've set Eternal Soul off the Dark Magicians, we can use it right away. But I don't really know where I'm going with this. It, it's like, I, re I need a good draw off Soul Servant. Okay, well, that's not going to do anything. So I don't know, I'd probably just link this away and, and pass the turn. <laughs> But there you go. The secret's hand. I mean, we could do a similar experiment with Tamias. Let's um, let's shuffle. Uh, go find Tamias. Put him at the front. Test hand. Down to one card. I mean, people already know this, but it's it's about making it that obvious to you. Look, Tamias does nothing. C crazy. Crazy. It, it's sad that I have to show this, to be honest. Like, why can't people just accept that Ref is such a good card for the deck? Look, I can play Ref and get a Dragoon. Incredible. Incredible. Alright, yeah, that, that one card's unfair, right? Well, DM needs more cards to pop off. Let's go two. Oh, I need to shuffle first. Um, okay, I'll I'll grab my... Uh, let's just grab Tomias, because we all, we all know how good Ref is. Okay, look, Tomias, yet again, you can't even summon it. You, you, you can't even summon it. <laughs> this card's summoning requirement is dumb. It should just be like, if you have a DM card, you can play it, right? For free. It, it shouldn't make you get rid of a card. Alright, let's go test in three cards. Alright, let's shuffle. Let's grab Tomias. Test in with three cards. Guys. Guys. Tomias is cringe. Alright, let's shuffle again. I remember, I'm not looking. I'm just grabbing Tomias and putting it at the front. Okay, it was pretty close to the front this time. Four cards. Oh my god, Tomias can actually... Oh, no, it can't. <laughs> it has to send that Dark Magician to summon itself, so it can't actually play. The better play here is to just Insight. So let's go uh, Insight. I'm going to send Media. We're going to add Ref. <laughs> I'll try to not do Ref, all right? I'll try to not do Ref. But you see how the, the better hand with Tomias is just to play Ref. <laughs> this has to draw a Spellcaster or a DM-related card. I can't even Tomias. And before you say, yeah, you can, yeah, I can summon it by sending the DM, and then what? And then what? This is a joke. This is beyond a joke. The fact that I've given given us four cards in here and Ref is still the best card over to my All right, dare I go to five cards? All right, five cards is a normal Yu-Gi-Oh hand. We are going to put the Tamias in it, and we are going to run a test in. Okay. We still can't use it. Oh, we can. We got prep. We can. We got prep. Finally, the Tamias comes live with five cards in hand, but this won't be every game. You've seen from the card combos, it won't be every. The fact that this card can be dead in your hand is just stupid. DM already has so many cards that are dead in the hand. Circle is dead without hitting. Circle is dead without a way to summon Dark Magician. Circle is just a setup card, right? And that's okay. Having a deck, having a setup card is okay. The problem is all our cards need setup. Eternal Soul only functions if you have a DM in rotation. And in this format, having a DM in the grave is really, really bad because the Shizu monsters banish it, Bystorm monsters banish it. DM isn't living in the grave this format, sadly. So it's living in the hand, which is really, really bad. Back to Apprentice format, maybe? I wouldn't even be, like, afraid of a list with three Apprentice now. And, hey, maybe even Navigation, because it's that bad of a format. But Navi will once again just get banished from grave, so maybe not. Soul Servant. One of our better cards still needs DM on field, grave, somewhere, or DMG or Palladiums in grave or field. Like, and then the Yashiju monsters just banish and you don't draw. It's it's really bad. Really bad, once again. Secrets, we've already shown how much setup it needs and it's rough. It's rough. Salvation, why? Why does this card not do anything? It, its best use is obviously setting Eternal Soul and then being set for draws with Magician Souls. That was its best use, unironically. And even then, you still just would draw bricks and you're like, Bro, it's rough. It's rough out here for DM cards. And this is me just covering the good DM cards. Can you imagine if I covered all of them? 
I should do that. That's a great video idea. Anyway, I hope I was able to convince you to some degree to try ref at least because you can see how it's just a one card powerhouse for the deck and the deck desperately needs it. Look at all these cards we have to play that require other setups. This just lets you win sometimes. <laughs> Please do yourself a favor, try out ref. Hey, and if I changed your mind, hit me with that subscribe. See you next time.